Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at a new Night Sun ND51, which is a brand new design from them. We're gonna take a look what usually comes with the actual light, what light features it offers us, what battery and charger I can recommend you, what modes it has, what kind of switch it uses, and of course we're gonna, as usual, jump into the water and check out some underwater footage of the light performing in the actual diving environment. Of course, I have also a part of from that, we're gonna take a look at some of the pros and cons after the underwater footage. So, guys, let's get the video started. Alright, so the ND51 is a brand new design as I already said. It's designed to be nice and small sized and it's designed to offer and bring us a nice output. So in this case we have a light bringing us or offering us 2500 lumens of output on high mode. We have a wonderful setup, setup of 4 XMLs in the front. It's an LED which is very commonly used and even I have reviewed many lights which use the XML for a light source and it's a very proven LED, so it's a very good LED. If I come in a bit closer, you can see very nicely how the actual reflectors are filled out and yellow, so this will indicate us that the light or the LED itself is nicely centered, we will have a good and nice throw of light. This doesn't mean that the light itself will be very focused, but it means that it will be a very even um, throw of light, so that's something I really like, looking into a, a light like this, into the reflector and seek this. This for me is already something beautiful. Perfect, the light itself you can see is quite small, small size, it fits about into the hand, of course the head is quite big with four LEDs and the light is designed to be used with a 26650 battery, so a big, a bit of a thicker one. The light itself comes with a magnetic switch, it's a push button and here I can already tell you something what I personally don't really like on this light, yeah, and this is one of the things I want to tell you right at the beginning, it's the actual magnetic switch. There is one thing I don't like on it, it's that you can accidentally switch it on quite easily. But listen, there is an easy way to solve this problem. When the battery is inside, just turn it a quarter um, of a round open, so it's still going to be closed. You can even do this during the dive, this won't affect the water coming in. If you just open it a quarter away, it will not switch on anymore and the light is therefore protected of accidental switching on if it's in your BCD pouch, in any other pocket, if, you, if you're carrying it in a bag or your backpack, there is no accidental switching on. So this is the only problem I had with the switch and this resolved the issue. So that's for me but works, it's a very good switch and even I prefer the switch to some others because with this one you do not have a hole through the light. So this is always a pros and cons a thing with this kinds of switches. It's a good thing if you know this and this is my tip I give to you if you don't want it to accidentally switch on when you don't need it. Otherwise it might overheat and definitely it will use a lot of your battery. So if you have it an hour in your bag and it goes on by itself you get to the dive, to the dive side and it's quite annoying if the light or the battery will be empty. Good. The light itself, as I said, will have one 26650 fitting inside and in the back we have a nice and really big, and this I have to tell you it's a very nice thing, but finally they're doing some bigger holes for a nice lanyard, of course there is one included in the set, the kit lanyard, although there is also, for me personally, I use my own systems and therefore you have a bit of a bigger and nicer and easier um, way through to fix some bigger you could say some bigger cords and some bigger other systems. So that's something I really enjoy. Of course we have an extra set of O-rings included and now let's open the light itself to put the battery inside. Okay guys, so here you can already see we have two O-rings, a wonderful design, it looks very nice, very neat, nice and clean, we have a nice distance in between the actual thread and the O-ring so they won't be in the way in any case, so I've seen some, some lights where the, the, the O-rings are basically sitting on the threads, those are very bad ones, but here we have the usual design from Night Sun, which is very good. Here we can see that the actual... Um, we could say the battery tube is not that thick, so the back part is very, very, uh, we could say light. The heavy part on the light is the actual head. And here, when we look inside here, you can see that the, the positive pole is coming up a little bit. And that is great. This is very good, because like this, you can use not only the button top batteries, like this one, which come up a little bit, but also the flat top, which go actually in a little bit. So you can use all of them. I am now holding the 18650 because you can also use them in this light using the simple adapter from a 26650 to an 18650, but in this case I'm of course going to be using a bigger cell. So here I have an 18, uh, 26650, sorry, bigger, a bit of a thicker cell, same voltage, 4.2 volts when full, and now we're going to close the light again. 
Here it's very easy and very simple and nice thread. There is no resistance at all. And here when we're gonna now close the actual light, the light will come on on the lowest mode. This is a signal to know, okay, the light is closed and you only need to press the switch once and it's good to go for the dive. As I told you before, if you now open it just a little bit, it won't work anymore. So that's a good and thing to just to be safe when you don't use it for a longer time. So close the light and you're ready to go for the dive. This light offers us three modes. We have the high mode, 2500 lumens and here you can already see nice on the table the multi LEDs they are forming a bit of a there you can see what I mean but this is completely normal the actual beam the actual hotspot you don't have any of this yeah so this is just a little bit outside you won't even notice during the dive the hotspot itself is not very very concentrated it's about a 10 to 13 degree angle I would guess about 12 degrees and this one offers quite a nice angle for wreck diving mainly. So I really enjoyed diving the wreck with this light because you don't have a very focused beam because with two and a half thousand lumens it would be too much if you have a six or seven degree angle. This would already be a lot of it. And there we have three modes as I told you. So press the switch again, you are in middle mode and press it again, you are in low mode. This is very low. So this is something I also enjoy for night diving for example. This light is also very um, we could say good and you can definitely use it for night diving. Press it again, it's off and while the light is on, if you keep the light, the switch pressed, you go into strobe mode. This is a good thing to have in case you have an emergency one day, if you're very far away, for, for example on a boat dive from the actual boat, it's too far to shout, maybe there's some current. To draw the attention it's a lot easier with a flashing light than with a normal light. So this was quite easy, also mainly in the night to draw your attention. What I like is to have the feature, it's a good feature to have the strobe or the SOS mode, although something I really hate is some lights where you have to press through all the modes, so high, low, mid, whatever, and you have to press always through the strobe to get it back off. This is something I like here, you have the three modes which you usually dive use during the dive, and if you need it, keep it pressed for three seconds and the strobe is there in case you need it. Wonderful. Alright guys, very important is definitely to use a protected cell. So in my case I'm using a 26650, no matter if you use this or an 18650, always use it with a protection because the light itself does not have a protection circuit inside and buying batteries with this kind of circuit for this for this light itself will prevent them from over discharging and this is very bad for a lithium ion cell if you over discharge and this will take a lot of their lifetime and you might even kill them completely with that if you can't charge them up again. So that's something I really recommend you for this light and it's quite important actually. Good, so much about that. I think we talked enough about the actual light. Let's jump into the water and check out how the actual ND51 from Night Sand performs in diving environment. Alright guys, so I hope you could get a better idea on how this light will perform in the actual underwater world or in the diving environment where you, where I guess at least, you will be using a diving light if you buy one. And what's important now is just to have a quick talk about the pros and cons. 
pros of this light is definitely something I like. We have a wonderful looking front, but it's not important only to look good, but also to work good. We have four XMLs. In total, this could offer us, offer us almost 5,000 lumens if it would be driven completely at full power. We have around 2,500 lumens, so in this case we will have a bit more than 50% of the actual power, so this will give us a very long lifetime of the actual LED. So they will last for very long, and this is something quite good, even though LEDs they will last for thousands of hours, so you don't even have to think about them. I think the light will stop working before the LED gives up hope. Good, the switch itself, as I said already, I don't like it because you can accidentally switch it on very easily, although simple method, open it a bit and the problem is solved, so it's not a problem anymore. Something although I really like on it, as I already said, on some switch types you have always a hole in the actual uh, sh shell or in the actual hull of the light. In this case you don't have a hole, you only have the actual magnet going up and down and it's just a bit deeper, but there is no passage inside of the actual light. So this will prevent some flooding and I've seen already some lights flood and that's quite bad because the driver gets ruined the LEDs and if you're lucky enough, lucky in this case so saying, it can also go into the battery compartment and you lose the light as well as your battery. So that's something which is quite good. Although what I recommend you is definitely after each dive when you're washing your light in fresh water, don't only dump it in and take it out. Also press the switch in the fresh water a few times. So the salt water which is accumulated in this dead space is also coming out and it's also rinsed inside of the switch. Perfect. Another pro I really enjoy, as I already told you, a big and nice hole for the actual lanyard. So this is a nice thing. And the only, I could say, contra on the slide is, um, well, for XMLs there could be a little bit more of a lumen. So this is the only thing I can say, but the light itself is very nicely designed, perfect design. We have two nice O-rings. There will never be water coming in, of course, if you have, you have to take care of them. And there is not much I can say bad about the light. Although, please beware, this is not a paid endorsement, this is no publicity for actual Night Sun, and, um, well, this is not a paid endorsement, it's as simple as that, this is my honest opinion. Perfect, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope to see you next time on my channel, and I wish you, as usual, a good and safe diving. <music>